Hey what's up guys, welcome to the channel, my name is CJ and in case you were wondering, this is a new hat. So today I'm going to show you real quick just how you can actually take a screenshot from a video. Um, in my research, I looked a couple months back, I couldn't find a good easy way so I kind of just started poking around inside of Windows 10 and I found my own method. So basically all the versions that I found online were way too convoluted, they wanted you to do this and that and so I started poking around. So whether you have Windows 10 home or professional, this method should work for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna do, go ahead and get your video moved on to your PC. So this is a recent video I did on how to de detach the screen on a Surface Book 2. So here is my video file right here. It doesn't really matter, as long as it's a video file, you can do this fix. So my particular file is an MP4 file that I filmed off of my Sony a7 III. So if we wanna grab a still photo, from the video. What you can do is you can just right click on your video file and click on open with. Make sure it's going to open up with photos. Like I said, it doesn't really matter if you have Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. You're going to have the Photos app on there and I find it to be very efficient actually. So what you can do once you get your video loaded is just kind of scroll to the spot. You know, here's me poking around. So let's just say I found here's the spot that I wanted to take a screenshot of this at. Um, the nice thing about this versus taking like a screenshot with the snipping tool is this is going to save this 4K footage basically at its highest resolution that it can. So if you go up to edit and create, click on the little expansion little bar down there and click save photos. So it's going to save frames from video. Then it's going to do this getting the full video, blah, blah, blah. It analyzes like this little section that I have already highlighted. So go ahead and click save photo. You can scrub through a little bit more and find the spot. For the sake of the video being short and sweet, I'm just gonna go ahead and say save a photo. Okay, it's gonna come up and ask where we wanna save this to. I'm gonna save this to my desktop and I'm just gonna call it still photo. Save it as JPEG. Okay, so it's saving. Go ahead and minimize this down. And here's our still photo that it saved right here. Okay, so as you can see, now I have this photo saved. I can edit this inside of Lightroom and still pull out, you know, like a pretty good solid colors out of the image. Uh, you can see the size of this is 3.27 megabytes. So anytime I don't actually take a still photo on my camera itself for like a YouTube video, um, like probably for this video, I will not take a still photo. I'm probably just going to take an image that I already have from the video footage. So this is how you can scrub through and find the exact location that you want. Then you can pop that in, you can edit that, and then upload that as your cover photo on YouTube. Or if it's just for you know the sake that you want to save a picture. Um, that's the best way that I found. It's super easy. It's free. You don't have to open up this program then convert it in this program. It's just Boom, it's done, it's super simple, anybody can do it, and uh, you know, thank you guys for watching this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.